While I don't consider myself much of a gamer, I do or have played almost every single superhero or comic book related video game, including the amazing LEGO games. Now I first started playing LEGO Batman when I was about 6 or 7, and I played often with my sister, finishing the story mode although we never managed to actually get all the characters, like Hush or Ra's al Ghul, but I did unlock a rather odd character as did most people. And fun fact, for some reason, 6 or 7 year old me was really obsessed with this character and would always play as them because I just thought they looked really cool. I hate to say it, but I also still kind of think he looks really cool, even if he's a bit of a mystery. And that of course is the Yeti, the character for discussion among many fans as to who the hell is he? Or even what is he? Is he an actual Yeti? Yeti is a playable character after you once defeated the Penguin boss, and costing the same amount of studs as most Goon characters. He's equipped with nothing but a gun, and his appearance seems to be just a repainted Killer Croc, minus the scales and pants. Which begs the question, is Yeti an actual Yeti? Because if he isn't, then we got Lego nudity in Lego Batman. Unless he's just like wearing a Yeti suit, that must be hot in there. Like a full-on fur suit, just to look like a yeti. Now yeti, unlike other characters, is completely absent from story mode, both the heroes and the villains. Aside from being a mascot for ice cream in the Mr. Freeze level very briefly seen. He's also the only named character, not including goons or cops, who isn't from the comics. Also, I specify named because there are characters who are like, Fishmonger who aren't from the comics, but that's just simply an occupation. Yeti is a named character that isn't from the comics. Unless being a Yeti is his occupation. He's also not directly a goon to any comic book villain with that villain's name in their title, like Joker Goon or Riddler Goon, and I guess the cops are telling Commissioner Gordon Goons. Now there are some theories around who the Yeti could be. There's an obscure Batman villain named the Snowman, who only appeared twice in comics, but they do share a bit of a resemblance, especially the red eyes. And very buff figure. But at the same time, why would they include a two-time Batman villain who one of those appearances was only a cameo, so a one-time Batman villain? He's also, like said, called the Yeti, he's not called the Snowman. Making me think that even though that is a fun theory in the canon and going forward, I don't think it was the intention with the character of the Yeti. Another theory is said that he is a Mr. Freeze goon. However, he's not a part of the Mr. Freeze level, and he also wasn't unlocked at the Mr. Freeze level. You are able to buy the character after you beat the Penguin, not Mr. Freeze. Therefore, maybe the character is a Penguin goon? But even then, he's shown to be an ice cream mascot. So does that mean that this penguin or Mr. Freeze goon is moonshining to be an ice cream model? The character also appears to have abs, yet isn't a strong character like Mr. Freeze or even Killer Croc, who the character is reprinted of. Repainted, not reprinted. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in because I think that's a funny mistake. Now, to me, the most plausible theory is that it was just simply because the game developers just wanted to finish the character roster and added a random Yeti to finish it. Because if you don't know, this game was pretty rushed, and it led to many characters being cut out. Although they would be included in the handheld versions of the game. But I do think that potentially it led to being the roster having one character short. Meaning Yeti could have been simply just a repainted Killer Croc, and given the goon animation and power set that he was. And by power set, I do just mean his gun. Therefore, the character would simply just be a repurposed version of two different characters. A far easier thing to do than create other characters from the ground up. The cut characters include of the Huntress, Firefly, Black Mask, the Ventriloquist, Azrael, Blue and Red, Spoiler, Civilian Selena Kyle, and Civilian Harleen Quinzel. Although the majority of these characters can be still made in the custom character creator after you finish the game. Although the animations of just simply a basic character. With the inclusion of these characters, I feel like the game would have likely have been even better. Not saying it wasn't already good, it really was. But I do kind of wish we saw these characters in the console version of the game. Like I said, they are part of the handheld version though. Also, oddly, the console version has zero reference to Firefly and Ventriloquist and the character creator, unlike characters like Azrael, Spoiler, and even Huntress. 
I'm not entirely sure why Firefly and Ventriloquist are the ones that got cut out completely without any reference, but they were. Luckily, they would eventually appear in other LEGO games, such as LEGO Batman 2 and DC Super Villains LEGO game. Also, interestingly, it's also a vice versa thing as well, as Yeti is only available in the console version of the game, not in the handheld version of the game. Being one of the very few LEGO characters to ever be excluded from the handheld version of their console game, because typically the handheld version has more characters than the console, but Yeti was oddly actually cut from the handheld. Almost as if he was not intended to actually even be in the game in the first place, which I'm going to say he probably wasn't. Now all of these characters would have been difficult to animate, design, program, and etc. While Yeti's entire piece is just being a regular goon with a albino killer croc skin. Meaning is an easy copy and easy to create. This is also why Rosal Ghoul has a copy of Nightwing's skill set, due to the fact that they ran out of time without being able to give him his own. It also just doesn't match the character Ra's al Ghul, in general. However, for the candid answer as to who the hell this guy is, my theory is that he's just a simple ice cream mascot for a home Gotham brand of ice cream. Hence his inclusion of a Gotham game. Similar to characters like GCPD Cop and Fishmonger. By the way, why is Fishmonger never talked about? I feel like he's an even more random addition to the game than Yeti is. Anyways, all of this is just my own personal theory, as well as a few other people online who I do agree with. But of course, you can disagree with me and believe it's one of the other theories. Think that he's a Mr. Freeze goon, or that he is the snowman from the 80s. Also, if you want to follow my Twitter or Instagram, links down below. Would really appreciate it. If you don't want to, then don't. You don't got to. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I know this video is a bit different. Diff yeah different, I could not speak there for a second, it's a bit different than what I'm used to doing. Or what you're probably used to seeing me do, considering the fact that I don't usually make videos about games. But this is a theory and a mystery that I really was curious about my entire childhood. Because like said, Little Me really was obsessed with his albino killer croc and played with him a lot, because I just found the character so mysterious and really weird. Although Little Me always assumed the character was just some deep cut character or like a DC character that I didn't know because this game is my introduction to many DC characters like Clayface, Poison Ivy, and even Mr. Freeze himself. So in my head, Yeti back then to me could have just been a Batman villain I didn't know about. Now I know that <laughs> that's just the case for everybody. It's a character that no one knows about. Anyways, this video is getting a little bit long because I already did my outro and I just completely ignored it myself. But seriously, this time, it's over. <laughs> Bye, guys.